Welcome to how-to videos from Bugspray.com. Today we're looking at a hornet's nest. This is a bald-faced hornet's nest and we have the fortunate opportunity to actually see the inside of the nest. This particular nest was built directly on a window of a customer's house. So we're uh, able to see right into the nest and we're going to go ahead and get a close up here. And you can see them. There's a right in the center of this picture. Towards the top you're going to see them feeding uh, the larva stage. So that bald faced hornet right there towards the middle is actually bringing food back in and feeding it to the larva. And eventually they're going to cap that off and that's when the larva will go through its metamorphosis into an adult bald faced hornet. We're going to go outside here in a little bit and we're going to show you the opportunity or the different ways of treating for this particular problem. With it being on the glass on the side of the house like this, we're probably not going to use an aerosol. We'll go ahead with a dust and then once we have uh, have the adults knocked down, we'll go ahead and uh, remove the nest. I generally wouldn't want to remove this nest during the daytime. I prefer to do it at night. They're a lot less active. But uh, customers doing yard work and the kids are here and they want to get rid of it as quickly as possible. So we're going to go ahead and remove this today. And if you watch here, you can see the hornets, you got one outside guarding and several others are flying in and in and out of the hole and it's uh, it's probably about the size of two softballs, it's not fully developed yet but uh, given time they had uh, actually marked on the glass from the inside where the nest was before they went out of town about a week ago and it's grown about three layers in a week, so it's it's grown about two inches in in diameter. It's grown about two inches in diameter since they marked that window about a week ago. So they're quickly building on this, and uh, you can see a few on the outside, adding some material to uh, enlarge it. And then there were several flying in inside and out, bringing food to the larva. It would actually be kind of fun to sit here and watch this thing over the next few months uh, as it grows, but unfortunately it's a hazard because it's literally only about eight feet up at the most, so it's very close. Now I've got several options as far as treating this. On this particular one, I want to go ahead and use a dust. I think that we're going to get the best results and the quickest results using a dust and probably the least... Uh, activity of them coming after me. I'm going to go ahead and put on my bee suit and uh, just be prepared for the worst because they are flying in and out. It's not exactly, like I said, the best time to treat for them. So I'm going to go get the uh, rest of my equipment and we'll get started. Okay, we've got a few things going on here. I've got the dust that I'm going to use to actually do this treatment. I also brought a few cans of aerosol, as you can see here. And normally that would be a quick and easy way to deal with this. Again, like I said, typically we want to do these treatments at night. Today we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it during the day for two reasons. One, we can show exactly how it's done. And two, the customer's doing some work in the yard and he's going to be held up by a whole day and it's his day off, so he wants to be able to get to work. So here we go. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dust a little bit around the uh, outside of the nest to kind of throw off the... Uh, current bees that are flying around and then I'm going to go ahead and I'll get the nozzle up inside the nest and make sure I give it a real good dose. Once I see the activity die down, then at that point I'll feel comfortable go ahead and removing the entire nest. So here we go. The uh, ball face horns are kind of sitting there. They're on guard. They're kind of checking me out, see what's going on. Fortunately, I've got some pretty good protective gear on here. I've even taped up any access points where they might uh, try to go in zippered up the collar. There's no way they're going to get to me. So.
Just gonna dust it down a little bit like that. And now we're gonna go with the inside. Just put it right up in the actual hole. And you can see the hornet came out right after it. They're falling out, dying pretty quickly. Essentially the way the dust works is it irritates them uh, quite a bit, so they're, they're madder than a hornet, but they're really not going to be focused on me at, the point, at this point. Okay, again at this point, because most of the uh, activity is from bees that are returning to the hive, uh, majority of it you're going to see uh, is just the bees that are coming out of the nest dying and then a few flying around. And if if you have the dust and you see the fly, the bees flying around or the hornets flying around, uh, it's okay to dust them. They get a little bit of dust on them. They're not going to drop out of the air, but they will die fairly quickly. Okay, I brought the camera inside so you could get a good idea of uh, what the dust, how it travels inside that nest. You can see it actually went into each layer. And uh, there's a little bit of area up at the very top where there's uh, just a very little bit of dust and there's a little bit of activity. And, uh, but these... Uh, Hornets are moving around in there, they're getting it on them, and there's almost absolutely no activity, and I think probably total since the first puff of dust has been about 10 minutes, so you get a fairly quick knockdown with the dust. Uh, again, the first hornets were dying within less than a minute, and, uh, and now here we are at about 10 minutes with a few that have just barely been dusted and they're dying now. So you can get a good view here from the inside as well. Okay, as you can see, 99% of the activity that was going on has pretty much ceased. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the scraper and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this nest. As you can see here, we got some close-ups of the bald-faced hornet larvae. They fell out of the uh, comb after it was dusted. A couple of the dying hornets covered in the dust. Okay, I just wanted to get a good close-up of the interior of this after I pulled it off. If you look here, you can see the comb with all the cells for the bald faced hornets of the future. You can also see pretty good all the dust inside. You get close enough you can actually see just the slightest movement of one of the last few uh, bald faced hornets. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit again around these windows and the eave just to make sure that uh, any residual bald face hornets that are returning to the area have a contact insecticide to come in contact with. Spray just a nice like one foot band around the window. And the underside of the eave. And if you like, you can do further down both directions. Essentially, all you want to do is make sure you get a good amount of contact insecticide there for them to uh, come in contact with. And that's all there is to a good bald face hornet's jobs. Thank you for watching this how-to video from bugspray.com.